so tired now <laughs> after six o'clock. <laughs> so what I'm going to cover in healthcare is how innovation can help day-to-day -day life of a patient. Not uh, exactly creating the innovation to the extent of not applicability. It's like where it is applicable and how it can be done and what is the benefit to the patient, what is the benefit to the doctor and what is the benefit to the hospital management. So if, if practically we don't like to go to hospitals, right? Unless until it's a compulsion, there is no other go, we don't like to go to hospital. So the preventive care we are not doing, it is more of a reactive, right? When we cannot handle it, then we go to doctor. Why? Because we don't like to go to. The problem is when we go to any hospital, how many queues that we stand? First is the registration queue and we have to be accompanied by somebody, right? Registration queue, then you meet the doctor for five, 10 minutes, then you go to the pharmacy, get the medicine, and then you go to the lab, give the sample. Three queues for 10 minutes consultation, it takes two hours. Simple problem today. So how to solve the problem? Can innovation be practical enough to solve this problem is the question. So again and again, I'm insisting innovation should be practical enough. It should not be something on the air and we are dreaming something and one day it will happen. Yes, few things can happen, it's not all the things. And one more problem in healthcare industry today is data. Everybody knows when we go to Indian doctors or anywhere, do they maintain your record and they bring up your record? No, you have to go with your paper records. And then they may review if they want or else they know by your symptoms this is what it is and they prescribe. Practically, this is what is happening. So how to en enhance this? How to make the doctors to use? Whatever you do, doctors will not use technology. We all know this because they get three to five minutes with the patient. And they don't want to uh, type in anything and they don't want to do anything because that five minutes is what the fee we are paying for, right? And that five minutes, we need doctor's attention. We don't like our doctor to talk to or uh, typing something in the computer. We need that undivided attention to us. So it's the more demand from our end also. That's why technology is not flying in healthcare. So how we are making things better? So we are working on smart OPD, that is smart outpatient department. So what is the smart OPD is, So smart OPD is patient management system in terms of not only the registration billing part. If you go to any hospital today, they have the billing system, but it doesn't matter to us whether you have a handbill or this one, I don't care. I have to stand in queue, right? Then why should I bother whether you're using a sophisticated Wipro system or Infosys system, right? So first is the patient management system where the patient could feel, yes, my time is saved because of this. Second is the multimedia medical advisors. We know that in India, Everybody cannot read the prescription or advice. And we forget most of the things when 10 things, doctor instruct, two things comes to our mind, eight things we forget. And health is a family subject in India. The minute you go to doctor and go back home, your wife or your daughter is gonna ask, what did doctor say? We do have, uh, this, this is, these are all the things. How about, and also in rural India, if we look at it, people don't have uh, the capacity to understand, right? So how about a multilinguistic advice in a very simple format so that people can understand, right? So multimedia medical advices is one, and it is more interactive also. That's what we are combining in smart OPD. And third is the lab and pharmacy integration so that it is easy, the order management is done, and I, as a patient, I don't have to stand again in one more queue, one more queue to get my orders fulfilled. And finally, the reports, the MIS reports. See, the smart OPD concept is not only about the workflow improvement, it is also about uh, how to increase the revenue inside the hospital, because most of the hospital, because of the aggregators today in the market, they lose the business, we all know this. The minute you get the prescription, then 10 SMS comes, that this is the online pharmacy you would like to do. I don't know from where from they'll get your phone number, immediately that's what is happening. Because of that, hospital is, uh, getting impacted. So how to avoid that is the next thing. So the complete workflow automation end to end. First and foremost thing in this is how do we change the desk services to mobility services? We need a completely combined mobility platform that works in every department then only this can be completely a mobile platform. 
or else again as a patient I don't want to go to one desk to one desk one desk to one desk can I get everything in mobile that's where I will so we have first implemented the mobility platform across the outpatient department where right from your appointment your old patient records are scanned and put and the doctor gets it on time when you enter in any questions symptoms See, what happens is you spend five minutes with the doctor. Most of the things you forget to tell, most of the things doctor forget to ask, right? So the important problem is that it is not all the symptoms are covered. If during your waiting time, if somebody asks you these symptoms exist or not, it's a good questioner for the doctor to put a degree on how much time he wants to spend or he need to spend. So that gives a good forecast for the 15 minutes patient uh, visit or the 10 minutes or the review patients can take five minutes so the time management can be completely taken care and the third is the doctor entering all these details yes doctor can enter how about a nurse like a secretary next to him takes care of the complete medical record management see doctors are we all know they are too busy they don't have time for all these things but if some kind of this one is skilled uh, staff why employment opportunity will increase in India Second thing is it will help a lot in the data collection, healthcare data collection, which will help in the clinical, precise clinical decision, right? And the third is the order management system, which can be fully automated. Fourth, this patient gets everything in their mobile phone. Today, can you get your prescription and a data format in your mobile phone in even US market? It's not possible because they are not doing in data format. We all know this. So how do we do this? Is, is this the, the only thing? Because the, one, the issue is not about doctors. Issue is about the infrastructure availability. See, the solution need to be doctor-centric, but not doctor-dependent. The minute we make it doctor-dependent, it's not going to work. We all know this. So that's why we came with the solution. So this is how our smart OPD look like. Completely near friend communication incorporated, all in a simple card, NFC cards. You have to just tap it to enter into the doctor office. Your records are passed, your fees is detected, so you don't have to stand in queue anymore. Is that I'm talking about a practical solution? I'll show you a video where it is implemented, so it will be easy for you to understand that how this is happening. If you look at it, every OPD chamber has the tablet which is NFC enabled, and it shows what is the current, who is the doctor inside, what is his current uh, queue number, and how much is the waiting time for the next patient to enter. So that gives clarity to the patient who is waiting, whether I'm going to wait for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I better have a coffee and come back rather than without knowing how long it's going to take. Is doctor delayed due to emergency cases? That also I'll know. All these things, see people want transparency in the workflow, right? Currently we are disturbing the staff who is outside, when the doctor will be coming, when is my patient number, who is the patient gone and what is his number, irritating. Right? If everything is crystal clear to the patient, and this is like numbers anybody can read. So that's why we, we, we have specifically incorporated a most expensive tablet, NFC enabled thing, so that the workflow is automated. And I forgot to mention, the last two is our clinical secretary sitting with the doctor, capturing everything in the iPad and giving a digital prescription to the doctor, to the patient, and also get the printout. So no more written, uh, I mean that uh, handwritten prescription, it's all the printed format.